What is up everybody? Welcome back to race 20 in our NASCAR Heat Evolution career mode series. Last race we raced at New Hampshire. It was horrible. Um, I'm really not looking forward to that race in the chase once we do make it to that point. Because it goes Chicagoland, New Hampshire, Dover for the first um, part of the chase. So I feel good about Chicagoland and Dover. But New Hampshire we have to figure that out or else we're going to be screwed right in the first round. I feel good about the second round, but the first one, we have to get past that, of course. But uh, this race, we're going to be racing at Indianapolis, um, at Pocono. I didn't really enjoy that race too well. We finished like 21st, I think. So um, this track's kind of similar to it, really long straightaways, and uh, the corners can be kind of tight sometimes. So um, I'm curious to see how we do at this race. Um, I'm really nervous about it, but at the same time, I feel like it can be a good race for us. Um, so that's kind of what we're looking at right now. We, we need 350 grand for our next upgrade for our team. We just got done getting an engine specialist upgrade, which was like a 2% increase to our horsepower. So with that being said, round two in the chase has Talladega in it. We just finished almost a top 10 at um, Daytona. So I feel like we can get a top 10 at Talladega. If we can make it to that second round, I feel good about that second round. It's the first round with go, 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 New go, go, Hampshire go. that I feel kind of iffy about right now. So, uh, let's just see how we do in qualifying. So, coming at a turn four, I actually feel pretty good about this race and this track now. Um, it handles way differently than Pocono did. The, um, 17th, cool. The corners are way more bearable than Poke Poke not Pokemon, Pocono is. So, I'm actually really looking forward to this race and seeing what we can do. Um, 17th is a good starting spot for us. And Joey Logano got the pole, so I will see you guys at the race. Welcome to NASCAR on NBC. I'm Rick Allen, and today we're coming to you from Indianapolis Motor Speedway for today's running of the Brickyard 400. It's always special to return to this historic racing venue. Indiana is home to many NASCAR drivers, all of whom grew up with big dreams of kissing the bricks here at Indy. So the biggest thing that I'm worried about right now is them driving into the corner like madmen and wrecking me. So if we can get through the first few corners and get spread out, I feel really good about this. Um, let's just hope everything goes okay, because I remember Pocono in the first few corners, it was an absolute madhouse, so let's see how this goes. So far, so good. Actually, looks like they're driving pretty conservatively. Concerted, conservatively. Jesus, I can't talk. It's like one in the morning right now, so a little bit late. We're gonna take it three wide. All clear. Actually, just bring it down to two wide. Not sure if we're clear or not. I'm gonna go up there. No, we gotta be clear by now. Yep. Oh, we cleared him a long time ago, then he's way back there. So I do feel good about this race. Um, really looking forward to everybody getting spread out a little bit to see what they all have. So I can figure out my passing zones a little bit. I think it's mostly going to be coming off two and coming off four, going onto the straightaway. Just like that. So I think that's where we're going to be pretty much passing. It's only an 11 lap race, which is good. So I think we can probably get a top 10 here, guys. Feeling pretty good about it. Of course, I say that now, then something's going to happen, but... We shall just see. On the outside of Almarola here for 14th. We definitely need a good comeback race, because we've, we've been having some horrible races here recently. Actually, Daytona's pretty good, but uh, just New Hampshire and Kentucky did not really finish where I wanted to. Kind of tricky tracks, 
as far as the line to run. Um, like I was saying earlier, definitely. Look at Casey Mears, man. He's just been crazy these past few races. It's like he's out there to win races every race now for some reason. I don't get it. But uh, like I was saying, we got to get better at New Hampshire. Kentucky I'm not too worried about because it's not a chase race. It's kind of in the middle of the season just there. But New Hampshire, it's one of the first chase races. So we need to at least find out a way to get a good top 20, top 15. So when it comes chase time, well, that was a horrible, horrible corner there. Hopefully they don't take advantage of that. So hopefully when it comes chase time, we can you know, at least get a solid finish, and then we can just kind of bump it up at a Chicago Lane and Dover. Is he really? Look at him just powering over us right now. And Newman, he's going to take us three wide. These guys are just too fast. Nothing we can do about that then, because they're just way too fast for us. Stay high. Still there. Still there. Man. Still there. That was a great lap. Hopefully. Clear Boyer here, looks like we're going to. Ooh, almost hit that freaking wall. Thank God it goes in a little bit right there. Looks like they're getting held up by Austin Dillon. Looks like they're going to make it three wide. Oh my God. Let's see if we can't get on the inside of Dillon. So I think these guys are out of our league, get Mears and Newman, but we are going to follow them up here through them. Yeah, they're just on a whole nother level right now, man. It's crazy. So we're actually almost halfway done with this race. Um, the little pack ahead of them, there's three cars ahead of them. If they can get around them and that we can pass them, that'll give us a top 10, which is where I want to be. I think that might be Johnson and Kenseth and looks like maybe Junior. So let's see if we can get up past them. And that'll be our goal. I mean, look at that. Mears and Newman just blowing by them. Who's this behind us? Is this Stenhouse? How are these like horrible teams in real life doing this well? A little bit suspicious. Right, yeah, Newman, I could see that, but like Mears and Stenhouse just absolutely looking this dominant at a place like the Brickyard. Wow, okay. They're just on a completely different level than us then. Ooh, entered that corner all wrong. Who's this coming up now? Is this El Elliot? Oh my god. So I was not foreseeing these guys coming up so quickly so realistically realistically we need a top 15 to meet our sponsors goals I'm not sure how many more are going to come up through the field and just start blowing by everybody looks like Chase is going to be the last one as far as I can tell for a while but looks like we might be able to get by Earnhardt here pretty soon my hand's going numb by how much it's been vibrating. Again, did not enter that corner the way I wanted to. Let's see if Elliot makes a move here. 
Jesus. I'm trying to hold him off. Not sure how I can do that until he. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not good. Do not pit. Oh my god. I wanted this to end under caution. I mean, under green. Wow. Okay, so I hope to god we are on the inside. If not, this is going to get really ugly really fast. But on the inside, I feel like we might be able to make up some positions. Okay, thank god. One attempt at a green wipe. Just get a good start. We just we gotta be really aggressive here. I hate to do it or say it, but we're gonna have to be. And I have not lifted. These guys are just blowing by me that quickly. Okay. Still there. Time to see what we can do here. I want to at least finish 13th where we were at. Still there. Still there. All clear. Okay, they're getting getting a little bit crazy up there in the front now. Damn God, look at him up there. Good run here. Probably get by Junior. All right, last lap, last lap. Oh, got into the wall. No, oh my god. Oh my god. I'm trying to get down. What? Okay. Uh, oh my god. That was completely my bad. Wow. The sensitivity at which you blow an engine on this game, in my defense, is really crazy. Oh, I, we could have had a, at least a top 15, if not a top 10 there. Oh my god, that sucks. True X1. Wow, okay. At least we got something. Still, though. I'm glad it's now instead of the chase, though. We're probably going to drop a few more spots because of that. Definitely. Down to 15th. Thank God for that win, or else I'd be stressing like crazy right now. Leaf track, okay. Wow, I just blew that. Blew a good top 10 finish. Okay, well, I'm glad that's behind us. Um, we'll move on to Pocono and see if we can get a top 20, or at least something better than we did last time, which I think we finished 21st or 23rd, something like that. So uh, thank you guys for watching so much. Um, I completely blew it on that race. Should have finished a lot higher than we did. But uh, I will see you guys at Pocono.